Hey everyone, welcome to the qualification round of the Micronation Flag Championship. In this video we're going to look at the 29 flag entrants in detail. We're going to talk about the Micronations they represent and of course the symbolism for each flag. We have a link in the description for the ranking form where you guys will rate each flag on a scale of 0 to 10. More on that at the end of the video. So let's jump right in and look at the flags. First up is the flag of the Sultanate of Salty Salts, designed by Combat for Combat. The capital of Salty Salts is Saltista, and it has a very small coastline of a mere 6 feet. The symbolism of the flag is the following. The blue and white stripes represent the ocean, while the green star in the middle represents the forestry landscape of the nation. Next up is the flag of the Co-Principality of Rame, designed by Lalo. Once upon a time, a princess and prince fell in love with one another. Sadly, their families didn't get along, and they had other plans for each of them. In order to be free in a relationship, they decided to leave together for a land far, far away and isolated from anyone. There, they decided to found their own micronation, where they would both reign as princess and prince on this land. Thus, the co-principality of Rame was born. The name Rame was chosen by blending together the names of Romeo and Juliet. Since this micronation was created, it has over time become a haven for couples whose relationships are jeopardized due to similar problems. The flag symbolism is the following. Black was originally the official color of the banner of the princess's family, while white was the color of the princess. The black stands for sadness, particularly the sadness that some people would oppose the union of two people in love. The white stands for purity. The ring symbolizes the union between the original co-rulers. It's colored gray to convey the union of the black and white family banners. Gray also stands for wisdom, especially the wisdom to unite people despite their differences. Next up is Cavia, designed by the cool noob. Cavia means the land of caves. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Red symbolizes war and violence, and also the struggle it took for Cavia to be independent. White symbolizes peace in the country, and the rivers dividing the country. Green represents the nature and greenery of the country. Next we have the Kingdom of Itvara, designed by Puccio. Itvara is an island of micronation. The symbolism of the flag is the following. White represents purity and peace. Purple represents royalty, as the country is governed by a monarch. Purple also represents harmony with the cosmos. The concept of harmony is emphasized further by the wave-like shape separating the purple part on the high side of the flag from the white fly side in an organic way. Not only is it a shape inspired by the country's traditional architecture, but it also resembles in a stylized way motifs created by zooming into the Mandelbrot set fractal, symbol of the coexistence between art and science. The wave-like shape could also be interpreted as a simplified version of a bass clef, a musical symbol which in this case also symbolizes art and harmony. The four purple circles on the fly side of the flag represent the capital city at Vara and the other three towns in the country, Isan, Illyria and Amor. Next up is the flag of the Principality of Dunsu, designed by Hamas. Dunsu is a small territory that includes an abandoned fortress turret and crags with colonies of strawberry plants and lavender flowers. The fruit of these strawberry plants has become a symbol of the micronation as they are cultivated there. The blazon of the arms reads, Or, a strawberry ghouls, leaved and slipped purpur, seeded gute d'or. The strawberry is the aforementioned symbol of the nation. The leaves and cooped stem of the strawberry are purple, as to reflect the lavender that grows there, and its seeds are gute d'or, which is a heraldic pattern that represents gold. It is used here to symbolize the value of the beauty of the nation, rather than economic value. The field is yellow in order to provide contrast with the greens, greys and blues of the landscape. Our next flag is the Kingdom of Italia, designed by Pep. The symbolism of the flag is the following. The white stripe represents the bright and gifted people of Italia. The red stripe symbolizes the patriotic love and courage of the Italian people. And just to note, while some may classify the color as maroon, the color is officially red. The yellow stripe represents the gods who created the kingdom of Italia and who have been protecting it and its people ever since. The white dove is the national symbol of the kingdom of Italia and it is believed to bring luck and happiness to everyone in the country. Next we have the flag of New Greenland, designed by Arthur. The flag symbolism is the following. Green symbolizes hope and nature. Yellow represents wealth and the main house color. Blue symbolizes the sky and water. The nine stars represent the nine states and also the stars in the night sky. The next flag is that of the Republic of Extendia, designed by Alex. 
One of the Extendia's biggest goals is to protect the environment by not using plastic items and other harmful objects by 2025. The flag symbolism is the following. The white field signifies that Extendia wants peace with its neighbouring countries and abroad. The stars represent each province that exists inside the Republic. The green stripe signifies nature and the environment. The green colour in the stars also symbolise nature and the environment within the provinces themselves. Next is the flag of the Snagovian Federal Republic, designed by Georgie. Here is the symbolism of the flag. Green represents the hills and forests of the Micronation and the Snagov Forest itself, one of its landmarks. The green also represents growth, harmony and safety. Blue represents the rivers and the sky. It also represents Lake Snagov, the most important landmark, as the Micronation is built around it and also bears its name. The blue is also used to represent freedom, imagination, loyalty and stability. White represents the name of the country, Snagov, which is an old word meaning snow. The white also represents the frozen surface of Lake Snagov in the winter, and also purity, faith to the Orthodox Church, and hope. Next we have the flag of Melothia, designed by Simrath. Simrath provided us with a huge amount of detail for this complex micronation, so what we've done is put the written description up in two pages. Here is page one. Feel free to pause the video and read through the description. And here is page two. Once again, we encourage you to pause the video and read it. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Blue symbolizes the water that surrounds Melotia and gives life to all its people. It symbolizes the water that connects the two great continents to Melotia and connects the world through its seas. Water plays an integral part in Melotian culture and religion and in many ways is a central pillar from which the soul of Melotia grows. The white symbolizes the peace that the island has enjoyed since the great war between Clint and Jorath. It symbolizes the peace that Melotia helped establish throughout the planet and the peace the United Nations of Castarte Palato, which is established in Melotia, is there to preserve. It also symbolizes the peace of the future. Blue is the internationally recognized color of Clint, while white is the same to Jarrett. For this reason, blue and white are the colors of the United Nations of Castarte Palato. There is an equal amount of blue and white on the flag, symbolizing the equality of the two huge continents in the formation of the UN. The saltire that is formed from the two colours symbolises the crossroads that Melotia has become, the centre of international trade and cooperation it represents. The red that makes up the rest of the flag symbolises the blood of the Melotian people lost during the Great War, as well as the courage of the Melotian people who ended the war and the courage of the people to this day. The red ring symbolises all the people of Melotia, those who passed in the war and those still alive today. The message of the ring which so often symbolizes infinity is that the people who have passed are still in the souls of the people of Melotia. The ring also symbolizes the fact that even though Melotia is a crossroads of different peoples, the people of Melotia also have their own identity which is everything inside the ring. Their identity is different to those outside of the island but the fact that the ring melts into the red above and below it symbolizes the fact that although Melotians do have their own identity, they are an open culture that is willing to let outsiders become part of their culture. However, the fact that the ring acts as a wall to the rest of the flag represents the clear message that an open culture does not mean the island is up for grabs to corporations who want to capitalize on its unique location. The triangle symbolizes the ambition of the Melodian people, always striving for a better future, which is represented by the peak of the triangle. The fact that the peak doesn't quite touch the ring symbolizes that there is always further ground to be covered, always more to strive for. The base of the triangle is embedded in the ring, symbolizing the strong foundations on which the ambitious goals of the people are based, and the progress made so far. When looking at the center of the flag literally, the triangle represents the island emerging from the blue of the sea and the white of the skies above. The flowing curved shapes of the blue and the white also symbolize the Melotians' deep roots within nature, as the shape beneath the triangle often represents balance in Melotian culture. One final symbolism there, only for the brightest eyes to see, is the picture left if only looking at the red of the flag. The red by itself forms a compass, symbolizing direction, but also hailing back to the marine navigators who first connected the planet. Next we have the flag of the state of Valentinia, designed by Revan. Above the islands of tundra and bears, seeing the stars making up the Draco constellation, lies the country of Valentinia. Its national day is the Feast of St. Valentine on February 14th. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Red stands for love, of which St. Valentine is the patron saint. Yellow represents the sands and snow, while blue symbolizes the sea. Our next flag is that of Ertel, designed by Finio. Ertel is an island nation. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Blue represents the sea. Green represents the nature of the island. Yellow is the symbol of Vigdeism, the religion of the people of the island. The moon and the sun are a symbol of Vigdeism. 
and they are a symbol of the darkness and the light, evil and good, which complement each other and create harmony and peace. Next up is the flag of Rawastan, designed by Rawashte. The overall design represents the nation's landscape and geopolitics. The specific symbolism is the following. To the northwest, the color red represents the blood of soldiers who fought against neighbors for independence. Whilst at the southeast, we have the color green to represent the nature and forest that is used as a defensive mechanism. In the middle, the three black triangles represent the people of Rawastan, and the white triangle represents the ruling family of Rawastan, and all together make the big triangle for the population of Rawastan. The black bars in between the main colors symbolize the safety of the people within the country's borders. Next we have the flag of the Child Tropian Republic, designed by Eva Lulia. The capital city is Chantropa and the ideology is accelerationism. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Blue symbolizes a far vision of the future. White symbolizes peace. Green represents the economy. The white star symbolizes accelerationism. The black bordered white rectangle represents the unity of the child Tropian people. Next up is the flag of the Grankist Empire, designed by Granker. Here is the flag symbolism. The black field represents time and space. The white star represents peace and unity. The black star represents mystery. The green star represents technology, engineering and logic. The five points of the star represent the five classes of vertebrates, which are mammals, birds, fish, reptiles and amphibians. The next flag is that of Rania, designed by Ruslan. Rania is a federation located on the Rankanjo Island, and the language is Ranisian. The symbolism of the flag is the following. White symbolizes loyalty, freedom and peace. Yellow symbolizes wealth. Black represents the dark past of the country. The stripes convey that these characteristics unite the country together. The star symbolizes communism, as well as a good leader, which is the king. The red field symbolizes the faith and love of people. Next up, we have the Boomerang Islands, designed by Liam. After a large war in 1929, the country gained its independence soon after and developed the flag to celebrate. Here is the flag symbolism. The two stars represent the two main islands that make up the country. The size and location of the stars convey the fact the smaller of the two islands is located northeast of the larger one. Each star has five points and this represents the number of states within the country. The orange represents the courage of the inhabitants and the black and white represents the national diversity within the country. And now we have the Federal Republic of Landistan, designed by the Fran 25. The flag symbolism is the following. Red stands for the blood dropped during the revolution which saw the end of the monarchy. Red also represents the bravery of the Landistani people. Black stands for the suffering which took place before the revolution and also the people who gave their lives for the republic. White stands for the peace and prosperity of the new country. The three stars represent the three federal districts and also the three religions, Christianity, Buddhism and Islam. The upper star represents the federal district of Cuvaland, being the biggest district and being located around and at the top of the highest mountain. Cuvaland is also the capital district which contains the capital city. Next is the Democratic Republic of Lettuce, designed by Lemonis. The micronation is located in the most remote part of a dark forest, so far into the woods that nobody even knows its exact location. Its mere existence is shrouded in mystery, as nobody, whoever goes there, comes back as their previous self. Its capital is Gusano, which by coincidence means worm in Spanish, even if the country is far away from Spain, and its language is Latusian. The Republic is organized in a very democratic dictatorship, where the leader, King Lettuce V, holds all the powers, but everyone is free. The structure of the country is very theocratic, as the Latusians worship the sun god Latus, the creator of everything good and bad, Almighty master of anything in this world, except cockroaches, illuminating the people and giving them the only thing that even has the will to grow in this place, lettuce. The symbolism of the flag is the following, green stands for the good and the forest, the only landscape known to the Latusians that prevents them from seeing other countries. It is also a stylized lettuce leaf. The black stands for the soil in which lettuces grow, the bad and the people, making it the only national flag in the world to despise its own people. The green circle in the centre represents the sun god Latus and his almighty power over anything in the world, except cockroaches, as well as King Lettuce V, the eternal president. It is also a stylized depiction of a lettuce seen from above. The yellow stripe represents the ray of power of the energy of creation of anything in this world by the sun god Latus and his representation on earth by King Lettuce V, a colour of pure harmony and power as well as the sun rays that make lettuces grow. Next we have the flag of Beechistan, designed by M.C. Firas. The micronation is located by the sea and the overall design depicts the seaside. The specific symbolism is the following. 
Blue represents the sea. It also symbolizes justice and naval domination. Yellow represents the sand, while white symbolizes peace and love. The star with a hole symbolizes the glaring future of success. Up next we have the Kingdom of Nairland Dai Gideon, designed by Justan. The Micronation is a crowned republic of sovereign peoples who have recaptured their true freedom and liberty. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Navy blue represents the honorable and noble nature of all the citizens. White represents the purity of heart, mind and spirit. It also binds the people together with a transparent government. Gold reflects the enormous wealth of the nation and its ability to provide security. The cross design is clearly religious in nature and it reminds us that we all have a cross to bear. The crown is indicative of the king and queen's position amongst the people but not over. However, here they neither rule nor dictate but rather serve the interests of the nation. Next we have the flag of the Floridiana Kingdom, designed by Flatferp Gamer. The following is the flag symbolism. Red represents courage. White and light blue both represent peace in the nation, while green represents the health of the nation. Next we have the flag of the Isasist Republic of Anistan, designed by Anna. The Isasist Republic of Anistan is a micronation located somewhere. Where exactly? Well, the only person to know seems to be the elected leader of the Republic, called Great Isasa. Its capital is Anna, and its language is Kikira. The country is known for its guano, renowned as being the best on the whole planet, and which represents 60% of all exports. The country is also a major world trade center, and most of the world's major trade routes pass through it, and make up 40% of the country's revenues and custom fees. The country has a large history of contact and trade with other nations, despite being difficult to access by land. Here is the flag symbolism. White symbolizes the guano, while green represents the wealth of the country thanks to its trade history. White and green are also representative of Anastanian traditional clothes and jewelry. The interconnected circle represents the country's ties to the rest of the world culturally and in trade. Next we have the flag of the Amnon Titinsky Islands, designed by Ramsey. Here is the symbolism of the flag. Yellow symbolizes the gold and the islands. Red symbolizes the blood of the people who sacrificed themselves for independence. White symbolizes peace. The moon and the sun symbolize life. The three triangles symbolizes the three big mountains and the islands. Leban, Kesef and Kamsanut. Up next is the parliamentary monarchical orthodoxy of Zastrain, designed by Wiz Levi. Here is the symbolism of the flag. The crescent represents Udar, the moon god and the star represents Dritus, the sun goddess, giving light and guidance for all aspects of reality. The six sectors represent equal representation in all directions of light, with the gods at the highest level. Yellow is the religious color and everything within religion, based on the sun. Blue is for the color of the sky and how the gods can change it to incur natural disasters. Green is the color of land, life and life sustainability. Red is for all the blood of the dead that founded the civilization and for the warriors that successfully defended against many crusades. Purple is for the army and the monarch, chosen by the gods by choosing the best candidate, with the parliament as a failsafe. Black is for the god of disaster, Shedtas, and how light has vanquished dark, but kept around to promote balance and survival necessity. Next we have the Aki Empire, designed by Trebor One. It's located in the jungles and is one of the strongest nations on the planet Ya. Its enemy is the dark green Ya monarchy, which is evil. The flag symbolism is the following. The light green represents good. The three hexagons represent the three main cities, Ak, Ohak, and Belichok. The reason for the hexagonal shape is because the empire is roughly shaped like a hexagon. The arrow represents the old history of the nation, from bows and arrows to the modern era. Yellow symbolizes the color of the people living there, and sunlight is a symbol of good. The waves convey the fact the empire is made up of a lot of islands, and they also represent different cultures living in harmony. Next up is the realm of Izwe, designed by Emil. Here is the symbolism of the flag. The Ouroboros symbolizes infinity, and the Izwegian resolve to do anything to preserve the people of Izwe and the way of life, for they will never back down and surrender to the enemy, no matter who. The dark red stands for the boldness and pride of Izwe and its people. The center stands for the people, white for their innocence, protected on all sides. The white eye stands for the diplomatic nature of the Izwegian. The two black and white pillars stand for stability and safety. Our next flag is that of Ovidia, designed by Adam. The symbolism is the following. Black represents past struggles. Yellow symbolizes unity and brotherhood. Blue represents hope for a prosperous future. The overall shape alludes to moving forward. The six-pointed red star represents courage, sacrifice and blood. The white symbolizes equality and peace. 
And finally, we have the Grand Duchy of Gamelan, designed by Azuchi Guardian. Like a previous entrant, this one comes with a lot of background information, so once more feel free to pause the video here and read through some of the facts about the Micronation. The flag symbolism is the following. The teal field represents the green oceans of the planet, as well as the desire for peace and liberty. The brown tree of life at the centre represents the abundance of life and agriculture, while the orange on top represents the environment's uniqueness, for plants tend to usually have red, yellow or orange leaves. The bronze and emerald shield of refuge is a loyal heirloom and another sacred relic that represents the country's stance in independence, immigration and tourism, for Gamelon is well renowned for accepting visitors and asylum seekers. The two serpent-like creatures are called the Odials, and they represent the two lake guardians of Lake Muned. The left serpent is named Bersia, the red champion, and the right serpent is named Siza, the blue champion. They form a harp since they and the people of Gamelon love music. The red berry represents blood, while the blue berry represents spirit. The grey arrowheads represent disdain and aggression towards enemies. The arrow design also reflects the country's reputation for their skill at archery. So those are the 29 entrants. Be sure to rate each flag by clicking on the link in the video description and give each flag a score using the 0 to 10 scale. Remember, this is your personal choice. You can use whatever criteria you want to rank the flags. Some of you may just want to score the flags based on how they look, while some of you might decide the symbolism of the flags is the most important factor. The closing date for voting is August 27, 2021, so just about two weeks from now. The 16 flags with the highest average score will qualify for the main tournament, while the bottom 13 will be eliminated. We'll announce the results as quickly as we can after the voting deadline. Here is a quick look at the main tournament format, which is similar to sporting tournaments such as the FIFA World Cup. Best of luck to all the entrants. Be sure to spread the word of this tournament as much as you can. Let's try to make this tournament a huge success. Until next time, take care and thank you for watching.